Hello, it's another week, it's another week, and this week you're going to be looking for the market breakdown for the coming week, which is going to begin on the 7th of October and going to end on 11th of October. So for the coming week, we're going to start with this first pair, this which is Audi card, and this is H4 time frame. So for the coming week on Audi card, we're going to be looking for a barely, for a bullish direction. And the big reason behind is because the market gave us like a wedge pattern formation at this point here. So we are expecting that the market has has to move toward our targeted area. Where we are expecting to get our entries, our entries will be observed in the market break and retest this level. And when the market successful break this trailer and retest it, we will hold toward our targeted area. This is Audi card and this is H4 time frame. Another pair which you're going to be looking at apart from Audi card is... Audi Chafe. For Audi Chafe for this coming week, we're going to be looking for a bearish direction. And the big reason behind is because the market is like forming double, double tops as we have this first top. And still the market is consolidating at this level. But we are expecting that it will break this support or resistance and retest it and then we start to drop it. So, for this coming week, where do we anticipating this market will be heading to? We anticipated that this market will be going down. So, where do we get our entry? We will observe an entry when the market opened at this level, and after the break, and we test this of this support or resistance, and after the break, and we test of this support or resistance. Where are we anticipating to hold this pair of Audi chase? We are anticipating to hold this pair. Let's go on the weekly time frame so that you can see where we are getting. We are anticipating to hold this pair to drop toward this level as it's broken this trend line here. And then we'll be looking for a bullish direction, maybe to have double bottoms pattern. So this is Audi Chief and this is weekly time frame. Another pair which you're going to be focusing on, apart from Audi Chief, it's Audi NZ. And for Audi NZ for this study week, we're going to be looking for a bullish direction. When we go back to this H4 time frame, we can see there is like a, way, a flag pattern, which is the continuation pattern. So where we expect it to be looking our entries for buying this Audi NZ at this level and after the break and we test of this trend line and after the break and we test of this support or resistance. These are the three points which we are we are we are anticipating we will be getting our entries. This is our NZ and this is a short time frame. Where are we targeting for this market to move on? When we go back to daily time frame, we are expecting that the market will will, will 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 be moving from this area here, holding it to a that targeted the reason behind is because of the double bottoms. Another pair which you're going to be focusing on apart from Audi NZ for this coming week, it's Audi USD. And for Audi USD, we're going to be looking for a bearish direction. As you can see, the market has come back to very important support or resistance. So we anticipate at that level, we will drop toward that targeted area. Where do we anticipate to get our entries when we go back to H4? since this is a, a daily time frame when you go back to h4 we can see there is like a double bottoms pattern but high probability for the coming week will drop and where are we going to be looking for our entry if just is after the break and retest of this support or resistance otherwise when the market breaks this trend line here we're going to be looking for, wait for a good retest at this level, holding it toward a targeted area due to the double bottoms. But high probability it will drop down. This is Howdy USD and this is H4 time frame. Another pair which we're going to be looking at is GBB Audi. And for GBB Audi, we're going to be looking for a bearish direction. The reason behind is because of the double tops in H4 time frame. And where we expect you to get our entry for selling after the break and retest of this neck or support or resistance, we will hold our trade toward this level here. Then from there, we'll be looking for bullish direction holding toward our targeted area, which can be viewed on the daily time frame. Which can be viewed on the daily time frame. Yeah. 
So we anticipated that the market will drop to uh, toward this level, then we buy it to an targeted area. This is our GPB Audi, and this is daily time frame. Another pair which we're going to be focusing on, apart from GPB Audi for this coming week, is GPB card. And for GPB card, we will be buying this pair uh, from this level from this level here, holding it toward our targeted area there. And where do we expect it to get our entries? Our entries we can be observed in H4 time frame. When we go back to H4 time frame, we can clearly see that the market has already breached out this downtrend and this has come back like to retest on it. So we will look for a buying opportunity at this level and another buying opportunity at that level, holding it toward our targeted area. This is GPB. This is GPB card. And this is H4 time frame. Another pair which we're gonna be looking at apart from GPB card. Apart from GPB card is GPB chief. Now, for this GPB chief, we're gonna be looking for a bullish direction. And the big reason behind is because in H4 there is a breach out of this trend line here and a good test has been made. So we expect it to be getting our entry at this level. And then the market break and retest this support or resistance is going to get another level holding it toward our targeted area. Where are we expecting to, for it to be going to? When we go back to daily, we can clearly view where we might anticipate that the market will be going to. So the market will have a pull to at that level there. This is GPB Chafe and this is daily time frame. Another pair which you're gonna be focusing on apart from GPB Chafe is GPB NZ. And for GPB NZ for this coming week, you're gonna be looking for a bearish direction. And the big reason behind is because the market has breached out this trend line. And also we have double tops, which has already been broken and we have the neck has been retested, so we will hold this trade toward that targeted area. This is GBB NZ, and this is H4 time frame. Where are we getting our entry? Our entry will be observed here, holding it toward that level. Another pair which you're going to be looking at, apart from GPB NZ, is GBB USD. And for GPB USD for this coming week, we're going to be looking for a bearish direction. And the big reason behind is because the market has given us the, the first shoulder. The first shoulder, if, we, if I put a well support or resistance at that level, this is the first shoulder ahead. And this is the second shoulder. So we anticipate that the market will continue dropping at that level. Where do we get our entry after the breakout and the test of this support or resistance? Again, we will be getting our entry holding it toward our targeted area. This is GPB USD and this is H4 time frame. Another pair which we're going to be looking at is NZD card and for NZD card for this coming week, we're going to be looking for a temporary bearish direction. And uh, where do we get our entry for bearish direction is at this level and toward this level. And then we'll be looking for a bullish direction at this level. The reason behind is because this is, was the first shoulder, this is the head, and this is the second shoulder. So we'll be looking at our entry at this level. If we start to get an entry at that level after the break and retest of this next, then we'll be holding toward that point there. This is NZD card and this is H4 time frame. Another pair which you're going to be looking at apart from NZD card is NZD chase. And for NZD chase for this coming week, you're going to be looking for a bullish direction. The reason behind is because of the double top, um, the bigger view. And also the other reason is because of this small double top, double bottoms. So if this is double bottom, the bigger double bottom, and also there is this smaller double bottom, first bottom, second bottom, and has already breached the neck, and it has given us a good retest, so we expect it to get an entry here, holding it toward our targeted area. This is in the D chafe, and this is H4 time frame. Another pair which you're going to be looking at, apart from NZD chafe, <coughs> it's NZD USD. 
and for and the DOSD for this coming week is going to be looking for a bullish direction. The reason behind for us to be looking for a bullish direction is because the market has successful break out this downtrend. Has successful broken this downtrend here. This downtrend of ours. So we are waiting this downtrend here. So we are waiting for the market to give us a good pull back to this trend line here so that you can get another entry holding it after the break and return. So we had another entry at this level holding it toward our targeted area. This is NZDOSD and this is H4 time frame. Another pair which you're going to be looking at apart from NZDOSD is USD card. And for USD card for this coming week, we're going to be looking for a bullish direction. And the reason behind is because the market has broken this trend line here. It has given us a good retest. So we're expecting that it will also break another trend line there and give us another retest. Then we're going to get another entry holding it toward that targeted area. Where do we get our entry? Our entries will be observed after the market open at that level and after the break and retest of that support or resistance. This is USD card and this is H4 time frame. Another pair which you're going to be focusing on apart from USD card is USD chafe. And for USD chafe for this coming week, we're going to be we're going to be looking for for a bullish direction on USD chafe. And the big reason behind when we go back to daily, we can see that the market is on a triangle pattern. And we are expecting that the market will give us a little pullback toward this uptrend of ours. Then we're going to get our entry there, holding it to our data gated area. This is USD chief, and this is daily time frame. Another pair which we're going to be focusing on is USD knock. And for USD knock for this coming week, we're going to be looking for a bearish direction. And the big reason behind is because the market has given us a good double tops pattern. This is the first top and this is the second top. So we are expecting that the market will drop toward this level here. But where do we um, speed to be observing our entry? Our entry point is just at the break and we just of this support or resistance after the break and we just of this trend line after the break and we just of this neck here. We will we'll add more position holding it toward our trend line there. So the big reason behind for us to get the first entry is because in the small time frame at this level there is head and shoulder. And uh, after the break of this trend line, there is this first shoulder, head, and this as the second shoulder. So that's why we are taking another entry at that level. And at that level is because of the tail break and retest of this trend line, holding it toward our targeted area. This is USB knock, and this is H4 time frame. Another pair which we're going to be focusing on apart from USB knock. It's USD TRI. And for USD TRI for this coming week, we're going to be looking for a bullish direction. And the big reason behind is because the market has given us, is because the market has given us a pullback toward this level. So we're expecting that the market will break this trend line and we test this then holding it toward the targeted area. Where do we get our entry after the market open and observe an entry here and uh, after the break and retest of that trend line, we're going to take another entry at that point, holding it toward our targeted area. This is your CTRY and this is H4 time frame. Another pair which you're going to be looking at is your CSR. And on your CSR, we're going to be looking for a bearish direction. We're going to be looking for a bearish direction. And the big reason behind is because the market has given us a good, very good double, double tops. Very good double tops, which can be observed. Very good double tops, which can clearly be observed. 
So we are waiting for the market to first break this trend of ours. We are waiting for the market to break this trend of ours and give us a good retest to go get our entry there. Holding it after the break and retest of this support, also go get an entry. Holding it after the break and retest of this support, also we get another entry. Holding it toward a targeted area due to the double tops pattern. This is USD ZAR and this is H4 time frame. Another pair which we're going to be looking at, and this is our last pair, is USD MXN. And for USD MXN for this coming week, we're going to be looking for a bearish direction. And the big reason behind for us to be looking for a bearish direction is because the market has given us a good opportunity of double tops. Of double tops. Let me clear these things up so that you can see clearly. We have these double tops. We are speaking that the market will drop toward that level there. Yeah, so for this coming week, you're going to be observing on the, the bearish direction on this USD MXN. And the reason behind is because of this double tops pattern. So we are anticipating that the market will drop toward this level. Where are we getting our entry? After the break and retest of this of this trend line, we're going to get our first entry. And after the break and retest of this support or resistance, we're going to get our second, our second entry. Holding it toward our targeted area. This is USD MXN and this is H4 time frame. For those who need account management, training, mentorship, and uh, for those who haven't yet subscribed in our YouTube channel, switch on post notification. Subscribe and switch on post notification so that you can be altered whenever we are posting this analysis and educational purpose videos and for those who still need one-on-one -on -one training in Morogoro the service is still available I'm still available in Morogoro till November so happy paper chasing week traders